financial problems, elder law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is real life economic and physical tragedy. This is a story of law and reality. Jenny Lingle. Hi, Ken. Good to be here today. Jeffrey Kirshner, good to see you Hi. again. Nice to be seen. Brian Small. As always, a pleasure, Ken. Okay. Here's the story. I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to give you a story of how things can be going fine and change on a heartbeat. Dun, dun, dun. Give you the story of Rick and Diane. They're happily married. Rick's a real estate salesperson. Are you sure it's not Jack and Diane? No, it's Rick and Diane. Diane works retail at a local department store. Rick's current income, $155,000 a year. He's selling a lot of real estate. Things are going well. Diane's making $40,000 in working retail. So they've got $195,000 of income coming in. 2015 to 2018 have been pretty good years. Real estate sales and real estate markets rebounded. Rick's doing well. A little background, though. 2009 to 2014, during the recession and coming out of it, was a big struggle for Rick because there was no real good sales in real estate. So they got behind. They owe taxes from 2008 to 2014 of $95,000. They have credit card debt of $80,000. Their gross income right now on $195,000 is $16,250. 16, After their taxes, they're netting $12,084. Here's their monthly budget. They've got their, they put themselves on an installment payment with the IRS on the tax debt. They're paying $1,500 on the installment payment. That credit card debt is costing them $2,000 a month in their minimum payments. They got a mortgage payment of two grand, utilities selling TV, 600, car payments, 800, car insurance, 350. You got the rest of these expenses, food and miscellaneous, 2,000. Their total expenses are 11,750 a month. Their net surplus is $334. Now, on that income, granted, they're not saving any money, which is not good, and we could do a million shows about how they could improve this financial situation even at that income level. But I'm going to not go there right now. I'm going to go into the law and reality side of what's going to happen to them. Even though they're making good money, they're managing to deal with the credit card obligation and the tax bill, things were going okay for them, but not for long. Rick, on his way home from a showing of a home, is in a horrific car accident. He gets T-boned on the driver's side. He's got a closed head injury, extremely serious. They don't know what level he's going to recover to, but it's going to be a long haul. He's never going to walk again. He's a paraplegic. Rest of the facts. Even though they've been making this money, they have no savings because their budget's using up all the money and they have that debt. They have a $50,000 IRA and that is it. Equity in the home, around $50,000. No disability insurance. Even though Rick has some life insurance, he's not dead. He's just got major problems. Here's the reality. Beyond the horrific trauma of the auto accident, their former monthly net income of $12,084 is now Diane's $3,333. I'm using Diane's gross because her income is going to be so low, they're not going to be paying any federal and state taxes other than Social Security. But they're short $8,400 a month. They still have the mortgage payment. They still have the tax debt. They still have the credit card payments. They still have two cars. 
they still have all of these expenses. What do they do? And I'm throwing that out to Jeff, Brian, well, look, and Jen. Jeff, isn't it easy? I mean, all they need to do is fill out some paperwork and get Social Security disability, and that comes in right away, right? With your magic wand, yes. And if you're wearing your magic hat with the magic wand, then yes. Wow. Other than that, and I haven't found the magic wand yet, no, it's not that simple. We've had this discussion. It's a sorcerer hat. Yes. It's a sorcerer let's hat. Let's not get bogged down on sorcerer versus so, wizard. So let's talk about Social Security for a second here. So is he a candidate? He's absolutely a candidate. Um, unable to work? Under not going to work. Right. So under Social Security law, it's for benefits for people who are unable to work for 12 months or longer. They typically, I say typically, don't look at a case really until you're off of work for at least six months and that the anticipated duration of how long you're off of work is 12 months or longer. This is a little scenario, though, that might fit this exception. When somebody has uh, a horrific injury like this where they're quadriplegic or if you have a uh, life-threatening disease, cancer, things of that nature, end-stage cancers, things of that nature, sometimes that does speed up the process to an extent. But what if, what if, all right, so this, maybe this one makes it faster, but what if it was a severe back injury? He's not a paraplegic. He's just, he's got the vertebra are crushed. He's, he's not paralyzed, but he's going to be in recovery for the rest of his existence, life. and he really can't go back to work because he's always going to be in pain, always on meds, and surgery isn't going to fix the problem. Sure. Now, let's, now, what happens? What's the process? So the process is usually right away when an accident happens, you don't apply yet because it's too hard for Social Security to anticipate you're going to be off for 12 months or longer. Usually I tell clients at least two to four months. If the injury is very severe, maybe closer to three months or so to four months to start the process. More than two-thirds of people who apply get denied. We file an application on their behalf. It takes Social Security ballpark 90-ish days or so to come up with a response. More times than not, even in tragic situations with horrible problems, Social Security is going to deny them at first. And this is a denial that comes in regardless of whether you do it yourself or whether you start with a lawyer. This denial happens most of the time. Yes. So do you think in Rick's case he would get denied initially or is it hard to say? It's hard to say, but it, it, it all depends. In we're we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to stay right on this issue. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Fav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Will I outlive my money? Medicaid is so confusing. A will, or do I need a trust? What if mom needs to go in a nursing home? At Samasco Law, we have the answers to all of these questions. Our attorneys will eliminate the confusion and develop a plan that's right for you. We are dedicated to veterans' benefits, assisted living, and nursing home care. Samasco Law can help prepare you for a long future. Call Samasco Law today. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 
888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Okay, so Jeff, back to it. So Rick is, we know he's disabled. He's not going to recover. He's like Konstantinov after the closed head injury and the Red Wings years back. And he can't, and he's never going to walk again. So he's going to qualify for disability, right? Yeah. So the I question would, would is so. when? So we are going to apply right away. His is a scenario that more likely than not he'll get approved. And if he gets approved, they'll go back to the, they'll find him to be disabled as of the, the accident. accident date. In Social Security, though, there is an elimination period. When you get approved for disability from your disability onset date, there's a five-month elimination period, so you're not entitled to benefits for the first so the, five months. So the first, even when he gets approved down the road, right. he doesn't get anything for the, those for first the next five months. Five months. Those, those, first those, five. those first five months, right. dating back to the injuries, first five months, not entitled to any benefits, and then he'd be entitled to ongoing monthly benefits. Approximately how much do you think he would get if he's making the money that he's making? Based on that, anywhere from $2,400 to $2,600, kind of in that range, I would say. All right, so here, here's the problem, okay? He's short... $8,400. Diane is short $8,400 a month. Rick's sitting there in the it, hospital. It, it, there's more okay. of a problem. The reality is, is that he's not, most people don't get approved right away. So how, how long is Rick <coughs> going to go if he didn't get approved without receiving a dime? So let's do the math here. So you apply, usually take Social Security, let's say ballpark 90 days to make an initial determination. If they deny him then, we have 60 days to file a request for hearing, but obviously, especially in this scenario, as soon as they let me know he got denied, we I'm going to file an appeal right away. File a request for hearing. From that date you file a request for hearing until you get a hearing, these days it's taking on average in this area about 16 months to get a hearing with an administrative law judge. You have a hearing with an administrative law judge, if you're successful, it's still going to take a few more months after that before so you start receiving your two years if, if you have to go through the appeal route? Before you see money, most likely. If, if they don't make him go through the appeal, then what, how quickly would he see the money? Well, they've got that. Still got five month elimination Correct. period. So, so the six month following the injury date is when he'd start getting his benefits. If they approve him right away, they still, you, you can't get around that five month elimination period. So starting that six month, he'd start getting paid benefits. So, so, so what's aggravating to me, and I'm sure to everyone who's listening is, you know this is a case that should never have to go to appeal. But what do you think the chances are that it would still end up having to be appealed before you could succeed. Even in a scenario like this, there's still a decent chance because it's early on in the injury. Social Security, I think, does a very poor job of assessing cases early on. And you just from edict on high, it's very conservative these days, and they're trying to save money any way right. they can. And there's no mechanism, is there, that you can't submit that application and call and say, hey, Jeff, or, or, or Jane in the Social Security office, I want you to take special look at Rick's application because it's a really bad situation and try and get it through and, and, and not go through the appeal process. Is, there, is that there? Well, again, going back to when we first talked about this in the yeah. first segment, when I have that sorcerer's hat and that wand, then I find the special person with the special direct phone number. Other than that, and no Brian way. will give up that hat. It's my you hat. Can't do it. There, it's, it, there is nobody. It's, it's lost in the chasm yeah. of social so security. So you don't really gain control until you get into the appeal process. You don't gain control until really you, you in the appeal process and a judge, and then you have a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Exactly. That's difficult. All right, so let's say it's two years before he sees the money. And then he's going to see that $2,600 for all of those months other than that first five-month period. Right. right. Okay. But how does he get to that 24 months? What is, what, Jenny, Brian, what is, he, what is Diane supposed to do? The mortgage payment still has to be paid. The credit card companies are calling every hour. He's got a $1,500 a month payment to IRS on the installment agreement he's entered into. But she's only got $3,300 a month coming well, in. So what, what she should do is go out and figure out a way to get some more money into the house. I mean, that's the reality, right? I mean, Well, Brian, it, the what, first what, thing before that is she is going to have to stop the IRS because you can't oh, wait, make you mean, wait, you mean just quit her job and go get a higher paying job? <laughs> no, I mean, she's, she's got to look at her She resources. should apply for the $195,000 a year job. With the sorcerer's hat in the line. You know, you know, it doesn't job. matter how much money she brings into the house right now, Brian, if she doesn't do something with the IRS, 
they're just going to take it. So uh, what does she All do right. with that? So the, they have $95,000 of, of tax debt from 2008 through 2014. So the income is as such, Diane has a few options, but the first thing we're going to do is stop making the payment, they're going to terminate the installment agreement, and we're going to put them on currently not collectible, which means although the liability still exists, the IRS agrees that they can't afford any payment. Uh, wait, wait a second, just so I understand <laughs> it, is, are you, maybe Jenny has the magic wand and she deserves it, are you allowed to just decide who gets put on currently not collectible and then you <laughs> register them as currently not collectible and then they don't have to pay the tax? There's is that how it works? Well, no, there's procedures for it and if you know what the procedures are, you know who qualifies, you know how to fight for it, you know how to get in front of the right person, we can do it. I also think I have a little bit of a magic wand for Diane here too before we get to the other issues um, is that it is possible she might qualify for innocent spouse. This tax liability likely all Cause relates. Because she was hit from his real estate sales. Correct. So it is possible that she, we might be able to get her out of the tax liability. What about the IRA? Is that a problem? <clears throat> Because they need the, that money. Not in the innocent spouse. It is not. Okay. You know what would be great? Wouldn't it be great if there was currently not collectible for credit card debt? <laughs> God, that would be great. Hey, Visa, can't do anything for you right now. Would you mind if we just hold off? But it could be. Well, they'll give you interest deferment. No, but that doesn't mean that they won't allow you to not pay. But, but it depends whose credit card debt is. It. If it's her so credit card you, so debt So are you saying she debt. has to keep paying the credit card debt? No. I'm saying that there's a solution that requires her to not pay the credit card debt. Wouldn't it be wait, great wait, though? Wait, wait, let me put a timeout, oh, sure, then I'll come right back to you. The first, well, let's see if all of us agree. The first thing we tell Diane is do not pay the credit cards, do not pay the IRS. You need to hold on to every penny you have to cover your food and housing expense. Do we agree on that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then we figure out what the long term plan is. We're going to take a break. When we come back, I'm going to go right back to you, Brian, to continue what you were starting to say. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. It's time for announcements. Want to remind our viewers to listen to us for Law & Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays 10 o'clock a.m., Saturdays 7 o'clock a.m., on KISS 105.9 FM on Sundays at 7 a.m., and then for Law & Reality Here and Now on WMUZ AM 1200, Saturdays at 11 a.m. and 2.30 p.m., and WMUZ FM on Saturdays at 11 o'clock p.m. Be sure and sign up for our monthly contest. Free $50 Visa gift card, Law & Reality hat, and a copy of your book, Dump Your Debt. Just go to the website. On the home page is a spot to pop in your email address, and you're entered into the contest. We have seminars coming up on Wednesday, November 7, 2018, 6 to 7.30 p.m. This is a great seminar with a great title for the seminar. It's I'd Rather Eat Turkey Than Be a Debt Turkey. We're going to talk about all the methods and systems we use to preserve future income for you and your family, solutions outside of bankruptcy, solutions utilizing bankruptcy. The key point is this. If you're paying interest on credit cards and you have too much debt, you need to get rid of it. The method that you use to get rid of it, we will determine based upon your circumstance which is the most optimal, but the key smart play for you is to make sure you don't continue just to pay on that debt and pay interest month in and month out for the rest of your life. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Jenny Wingle's gonna participate doing a, free, a segment on how to resolve tax issues. Sign up at thavgross.com, lawandreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. 
that on Wednesday, December 12th, 6 to 7.30 p.m., a smart present for your family and estate plan. Your best Christmas holiday gift to your children and your family is to take care of business, get that estate plan done. In addition to that, you should also give them other presents so that the youngsters will have smiles on their face. But the family present should be an estate plan for your family. We're going to go through the elements of an estate plan, documents you must have while you're living, documents addressing your demise, how to address probate issues, how to avoid probate. Attendees receive a $300 gold certificate off the cost of an estate plan. Sign up at thavgross.com, lawandreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. Remember, you can always come in to Thav Gross for a free consultation. Just go to the website and click on the appropriate box, and we will contact you and schedule the consult, or you can call 888-235-HELP. If you've got debt or estate planning issues, you can meet with Brian, elder law issues with Pat Samasco, tax issues with Jenny, business issues with myself, disability and workers' comp issues with Jeff Kirshner. Just take advantage of those free consultations. It's not a, con it's not a meet and greet. We sit down, we analyze the problem, we figure out how to solve your solution in the best possible way, and then you know what your options are, you know what it's going to cost, and you know the right path to follow. We've got free reports on the website, how to save your home from foreclosure, business formations, loans and grants for small businesses in Detroit and Michigan, Pat Smasco's Retiree's Guide to Social Security, and an upcoming new report on resolving tax problems, the real solutions by Jenny Lingle and myself. That Look for that. It will be available shortly. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Jeff Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Nothing provokes panic and fear like the threat of a school shooting. Unfortunately, we've seen a sharp increase in students making copycat threats in order to gain notoriety. I'm Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith. Students, this behavior will not be tolerated. Felony charges will be brought against anyone who threatens the safety of our schools. Parents, please talk to your children and pass along this message. If you threaten our schools, it will cost you your future. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so I want to go back to you, but I had a thought during the break. We said don't pay in the credit card debt, but she's short of cash. Can Diane go and take the cash advances that are available on those credit cards so that she builds up more available cash to her for paying expenses and keep paying the credit cards during that period There's of time? There's nothing illegal about doing that, of course. I don't think it's the wisest move on the planet, but you know, Diane's got to pay the bills. She's got to put food on the table. The problem, of course, is that at the end of the day, we have to get rid of that debt. And that should be very obvious to everybody. So as a, if well, I- Let me ask you a technical question. Uh -huh. I'm Diane, and if I don't know yet that the solution to my problem is filing bankruptcy, because I'm hoping that Jeff's gonna get enough money for Rick for disability and things are gonna improve, and maybe I'm going to get that $195,000 job, is there anything wrong with using the cash advances? Because as I understand it, if I know I'm filing bankruptcy, then it could be a little bit more sticky about me taking the cash advances. Yeah, if you're, if you're but taking... But if I, if I don't know it, am I okay taking those cash advances? I really can't tell you that you're okay taking those cash advances because... Because you're a bankruptcy attorney? A, I do bankruptcy work. That being said... But if I took them If without, you took them if, and you paid on and them... And then I came in to see you. Well, if I'm, my recommendation I'm was a bankruptcy, a line here, I yeah, 
if my recommendation turns out to be a bankruptcy, if you took the money and you were paying the payments and you intended to pay it back, then it should be dischargeable in bankruptcy. Okay. So here, the point is, and we're, we're, go, we're walking through a scenario here, but it, it comes down to this. You're saying we're going to have to wait up to 24 months for that money coming from Social Security Disability. Jenny, you're saying you can get me currently not collectible to take care of the 1500 bucks, but I'm short $8,400 a month from the standpoint of the amount of money that she needs to cover her expenses. Right. Well, the end game here for Rick and Diane, as far as I see it, is, is that we're going to file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy for them at the end of the Social Security disability case, right before they get the money. See, I can protect all of the money that's coming in to Rick and exempt it if we file the bankruptcy before okay, he's so, received so the money. Before the big check comes from the back payments. Right. Okay, so, and that check may come as long as 24 months if you have to go through the appeal process or shorter down to what, eight months or so? Yeah, six, six months. months. But, but we'll at least know if ahead you, of time. If you use your wine and get it approved. But, but right. if, but we'll, if, we'll, get, we'll get notice ahead of time from Social Security. It doesn't just happen when they approve a case. They don't send it and staple it to the decision saying, here you go. It still takes some time. So we'll know when we get a decision. I'll be able to find out if we got approved, but short of getting money. What's the, your, but, what's but your lead even, time there once you know? So usually at least 30 days. Oh, okay. So out. then yeah. even, he knows yeah. then you would file the bankruptcy Absolutely. before that? But even if Jeff got them approved right away for the Social Security Disability, Rick and Diane's end game here, because of the dramatic change in their circumstances and the loss of income, is going to be to file a bankruptcy to discharge the income taxes that are owed, to file a bankruptcy. Wait, are you allowed to discharge income taxes? A hundred percent allowed. Jenny, is, does he know what he's talking about? Absolutely. As long as the tax came due three years ago, and all of theirs have, the last tax they owed for was 14, which came due in 15. So we go 16, 17, 18. Unless they filed an extension, it would have come due three years ago if with an extension yeah, these October are all 15th, taxes, approximately. Okay. Filed at least two years ago, and the last assessment had to be at least 240 days. Then if you otherwise qualify for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, income taxes are dischargeable. So they're, they're going to get to keep their income tax, their IRA. The equity in the home can be protected. The well, I don't know how they're going to keep the IRA. I think they're going to need to use the IRA. Well, they may spend down the IRA. Because she doesn't have this sure. income. But at the end of the day, they get rid of their debt, and at least whatever Social Security disability plus their income helps them get through life. All right, so the credit card debt's gone, the tax debt's gone. You use the IRA to the extent you need to get there, and there's other expenses that, they, that, that she can trim. She's going to be able to get rid of one of the cars and use the bankruptcy, right? Yep. Okay, so she'll get rid of Rick's big gas bill because he's driving all over town showing houses. So she trims that cost. If necessary, she trims her health care costs. And by doing so, she can get that budget down to the amount that she needs. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with Law and Reality. Thanks for watching.